Welcome to Pepperon Fuchs' presentation of the 5500 series components. Uh, this is a Type Z EXPZ system. My name is Chris Romano. I am the Product Portfolio Manager for Pepperon Fuchs for the Purge systems. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the 5500 series uh, system and it's made up of the control system which uh, here we have an external or internal mount and this is an external mount with some mounting hardware. Uh, the vent, which is required for uh, purge pressurization for the relief vent, and optional solenoid valves uh, to get the uh, protective gas inside the enclosure for purging and pressurization. The 5500 series system consists of the control unit and the vent. Uh, so now you need to get air inside the enclosure. Uh, the way this system works is that uh, the flow rate to determine the purge time is based on the enclosure pressure. So we have tested that through the, each individual vent, if the enclosure pressure is a certain value, then your flow rate will be a certain value. So we offer curves in the manual that will indicate pressure versus flow through each vent. So with that, uh, part of the certification doesn't really involve uh, the valving system that gets the air inside the, inside the enclosure. Uh, however, you do have to have approved size enclosure uh, valves to make sure that you are conforming to the certifications. However, uh, we offer optional manifold systems to uh, provide you with purging and pressurization. So, with that, we have uh, the first valve which is this uh, manifold system. Now you can take a look at this manifold system and it actually looks like the 6000 series manifold. Uh, the 6000 series uses an intrinsically safe coil. This is not going to be intrinsically safe. This will be EXEM for the ATEX and IECX version. Now this coil will have a cable coming out of it so that uh, it's 3 meter cable so that you can terminate this to the 5500 control system. Uh, just like the 6000 series, you have in and out for your system and you have a dual here as well so that in case you want uh, the uh, out to be in, you just swap those over along with these. So it's very easy to change the uh, valving of this. This manifold has a solenoid valve that will energize for purging the enclosure and that's through the SV of the control unit, those contacts for SV. Uh, so for purging, the solenoid valve will energize. To set your pressure inside the enclosure after it's finished purging, this is done through this uh, needle valve stem and a flathead screwdriver can adjust that uh, very simple. Um, so that is with uh, this uh, type of manifold. This is an ATEX. Uh, you can get an ATEX ICEX rated valve or AFM CSA uh, class division rated valve. The class division rated valve will have a conduit uh, for explosion proof and uh, 24 inches of cable coming out for termination to the control unit. The, uh, just keep in mind that when you order these valves that you have to specify the voltage. Uh, so these come in 24 volts DC, 120 volts AC, or 230 volts AC. So if you're using a 5500 that is an AC model and that 5500 control unit operates on 95 to 250 volts AC, you still have to specify what voltage you will be operating the valve at. So if that unit is being operated at 120 volts, you would use a 120 volt AC valve. If it's being operated at 230 volts AC, then you would use a 230 volt AC valve. Okay, so uh, we have another uh, system, um, a valving system, that th basically does the same thing except this is UL CSA certified. So for shops that require a UL certification on the whole system, this will provide you with a UL for class divisions. Um, and it's a little bit different. It mounts uh, a little bit different and the porting is a little bit different. So what we have here is um, we have our in and our out. 
Uh, those are pretty much set and that comes with the fittings. And we have a uh, coil on here that has the half inch NPT with 24 inches of cable coming out. So the customer will run this back to the 5500 control system through a conduit system. With this system, we offer uh, for the needle valve, which is done through this port right here. There's a, there's a little hex key in there that will set your pressurization. So the coil is used for purging, and this is used for after purging for pressurizing the enclosure. So you would turn this and it would increase and decrease the flow into the enclosure. So this acts like a needle valve like it does on the 60, on the 6000 or the 5500 series uh, manifold. So this hex key will come along with this UL rated type valve. Along with this, these systems, you will get the tubing. You'll get some tubing about six feet, five to six feet, along with these inserts so that these inserts go inside these uh, tubing and you can clamp them to this type ferrule uh, type um, compression fitting. So uh, these, these are required so that it doesn't collapse the tube and provides you with a rigid uh, connection to these uh, compression fittings. So along with that, we also offer the bulkhead fitting so this bulkhead fitting has an O-ring on it to give a seal to the enclosure. So this can be mounted on the outside of the enclosure and that will get your air supply into the enclosure. Along with that, we have a mounting kit which uh, offers four sealing washers along with uh, four bolts so that you can bolt them to the enclosure or Without the bolts, they just screw right into the manifold, either on the top or the, or the side for mount. Uh, this is really good for mounting inside the enclosure so that the only part that's shown is the stem. Uh, this can be mounted inside the enclosure, outside the enclosure, either one. So this provides you with a really quick, easy way to um, uh, mount this and get your air supply into the enclosure for purging and pressurization. That completes the explanation of the components for the 5500 series system. We have the control units with the mounting hardwares, external, internal mount, the vent, which is a pressure relief. Uh, those are required for the type Z EXPZ system. And then we offer these optional manifold systems uh, for getting pur purging and pressurization of the enclosure. Uh, again, this is an optional system. You can certainly use manual valves. You can use your own valving system because again, the purge uh, flow is based on the pressure inside the enclosure which is measured through the control units. These units are certified for ATEX, ICEX, and also uh, NEC class divisions, class one, division two, and class two, division two, groups A through uh, D and then EFG. Uh, so, and also zone two and zone 22. So they're good for gas and dust uh, atmospheres. Uh, I would like to thank you for attending this uh, YouTube uh, presentation. If you need more information, please visit our website uh, for the EPV 5500 uh, vent or the 5500 control system as well as uh, the 5500 MAN manifold systems. Uh, thank you for attending. Thanks.